Hi, I'm Noel McNeil, and I am a puppeteer. That's a word you don't hear very often, especially when somebody is describing what they do for a living and has made pretty much part of their life a career choice, but I am a puppeteer. Being a puppeteer, I've gotten to do a lot of things, met a lot of people, gone to a lot of places, and I'm also not just a puppeteer. I am a director, I'm a producer, I'm a writer, I'm an author, and even a podcaster, but it all gets back to my being a puppeteer because I started out as a puppeteer when I was a kid. I always loved puppets. They were more puppet shows back when I was a kid. And then I decided that I wanted to be a puppeteer. So I did research the old fashioned way. I went to the library, which is like Barnes and Noble, but it's free, and found that there were two, two colleges at that time where you could major in puppetry. One is the University of Connecticut in Stores, Connecticut, which to this day, you can get your four year master's degree in puppetry. The other was a school called Pratt Institute here in Brooklyn, New York. And at that time, there was a theater department. And within the theater department, there was a puppetry course. And the course happened to be taught by one of the designers and builders for this guy, Jim Henson. I got to know Jim and work with Jim because I ended up going to Pratt, and the designer was the guy who designed Big Bird and Snuffy. His name was Kermit Love. And no, the frog was not named after him, just a weird coincidence. But from there, I got to be his assistant on a show called Sesame Street. And I learned all about TV production, going to the production meetings and learning what it takes to put on a show like Sesame Street. You just don't flip on the set and it just happens. There are people behind it. There's producers, there's directors, there's lighting directors, lighting designers, there's the crew, there's the cameraman, there's makeup, there's costumes, there's the people who build the puppets, the people who puppeteer. There's music, music directors, composers. Then there's editing. You put it all in what's called post. And you put it all together to make it look good. There's a lot of things involved in puppetry, not just being a puppeteer. On Broadway, you might have heard of a show called The Lion King. Well, they use lies, utilize as puppets. And there's a show called Oh Avenue Q that was all about puppets, making fun of a show called Sesame Street. There are many ways you can use puppets. And puppets is also a way for you to sort of, you know, figure out something else that you want to do. Like being on so many shows, like Bear in the Big Blue House, uh, Ubi, uh, Eureka's Castle, now available on Paramount Plus, and other shows. I saw how directors directed puppets, and so I thought, well, since I'm a puppeteer, I should know how to do this too, so that I could make the shots even better. Because very often we would tell the directors, maybe we could do it this way, maybe we could do it that way, because we're pretty much underneath the puppet, sometimes on the floor, and we know what's best. So I learned how to be a director. And then I saw how some of the stuff was being written and realized that, well, we keep giving them suggestions. So why don't I just become one of the writers for the show? And so I have, I've written for several shows. And then with puppetry, I also got to write two books, how to books on how to make puppets, 10 minute puppets and a book called box, what to do with all that cardboard. And then with podcaster, well, I have a podcast called Noel's Book Nook. That came about because of a character I did a few years ago called Bear in the Big Blue House. And he's available on TikTok. <laughs> and on the TikTok, people really like seeing Bear, but also hearing Bear's voice, which is very similar to my voice if you really start listening to it. So then I thought, well, maybe I could do a podcast where I could read stories. And since this happened last year, and since I was home, and since you were home, since all of us were home, figuring out, okay, what can I do today? I thought, let me start a podcast. So it's called Knowles Book Nook. And it's available on Spotify and Anchor and anywhere you get your podcast choices. So basically, I am very proud of what I do for a living. And if you'd like to know more about me, well, contact Alex. And maybe I could actually, like, talk to you live and you can ask me all kinds of questions i can even show you a few puppets and give you a quick puppeteering lesson cheers